Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another Celebrating Act 2 vlog with John Coleman and Art Kirsch just wanting to wax poetic or blather about something. What should we, yeah, what should we blather about today, We're John? Not, Art, today is not a blather day. Today is, is this a, a non-blather zone? Are you this declaring? is a significant conversation about economics and the year 2022. Wow. Would that be in the year 2022 in the month of April? Uh, it could be, yeah. It could okay. be. So here's the deal. You know that um, about, let's see, I took a trip a month ago to across the country to Charlotte and... Uh, Oh, yeah, that your granddaughter was in a, in a Charlotte, event. Charleston, yeah. So we, yeah. we visited uh, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, my daughter booked that airfare in January, I'm pretty sure, late January. Mm -hmm. The airfare across country, about $350 plus. Dollars. I just got, uh, last night, just booked airfare to New Hampshire, which again, a different part of the country, but a cross country trip, uh, $800. Really? So, more than double. So, does that, is I, that we're talking about the relative worth of New Hampshire versus the Carolinas? You can get a lot of trouble here. Yeah, you could. Well, actually, I went to the, the flights to Boston and I'll drive around Boston visiting mm -hmm. friends in New Hampshire and stuff like that. But the point is that it's double the cost in, in four months. Mm -hmm. the, 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 Airlines have, I don't know why, but they've raised their prices. They're getting getting busy again. Actually, they were busy in um, last time we flew, which was uh, March, early March. There was not an empty seat on any <laughs> of the flights. So they were busy. Now they're raising their prices, I guess, because they can afford to. You know, they got a lot of people wanting to fly more than three months ago. But... Um, Despite the fact that it's a different part of the country, it's still cross country. And my experience in the past has been that we go cross country, particularly when you go from a big airport to a big airport, you're not going to little bitty uh, puddle jumper airports. The price is very, very similar. Mm. And, uh, and I think since I already looked at the San Diego to Charlotte. Current the same price, flight you took they, the last time. They too have gone up. They're huh. they're closer to 750. Well, I think from, I think a couple of things have happened, John. Though that, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we're coming into the summer months, so it's going to be it will tend to be a bit more expensive. But right. uh, I'm a great um, uh, when it comes to airlines and gasoline prices. Uh, I believe that we are being taken to the cleaners, if you will, in a lot of ways for the following reasons. First of all. Uh, most of the airlines could probably do away with passengers as long as they get all the freight and the mail. That's actually what pays for the airline. And since all of them are having trouble with uh, flight attendants and having enough personnel and even pilots replacing pilots, uh, Delta's had huge problems with that as American. So they have contracted the number of flights down to far fewer flights. And I believe they're getting to the point now where as long as they can keep taking enough of the freight, which really pays for everything underneath, that they can do whatever they want with passenger prices. Now, yes, part of it, we know that the oil prices are skyrocketing. And so this is a moment in time conversation as opposed to philosophical, where uh, gasoline in just the last month or so, because of what's going on over in Europe, is about 30% higher. And what happens is, the airlines probably bought contracts when it was down at $60 a barrel. And of course, they bring it up when the prices go up, even though they probably have a year or two of those prices locked in. Of course, they never bring it down on the other end. So I think that and it's also like in, we live in California, and we know that every summer, somehow, magically, the prices go up higher when they do the switch over to the summer blend. Okay, right. but they've been doing this now for 20 or 30 years, so it's not their first rodeo. And it only seems to be the maintenance means that they have to shut down one or two refineries just about the time they have the switchover so that every summer, instead of the gas going up a couple of pennies a gallon, 
it goes up a dime, 15, 20 cents a gallon for about a month until they get production back online. So I grant that probably all the prices are going up, just as you said. So people make your plans now. But the truth of the matter is, is that I think a lot of it's contrived. And uh, uh, the politicians who are getting campaign contributions, whether it be on the local level or on the on the uh, national level, okay, just don't want to piss off the airlines or the refineries. So that's my two cents worth. Yes, more expensive. I'm sorry it's costing you more to go on this trip. Uh, you seem to be like the traveling guy. So you're going to be... Are you permanently traveling now? Is that what it is every three months? You get on the road to make up for the <laughs> nope, two years I just, I you stayed home? Be, I just refuse to be stuck in a uh, cage uh, by COVID or politics or wars in Europe or anything else. That's all. Okay, but I've known you for about 10 years, and it's, just only, it's only since COVID started. You seem to be traveling by airplane more frequently than ever. So I think you're making a statement. And I support <laughs> you because these are wonderful... You, you're doing really great things. I remember you had a, a reunion, uh, a high school reunion that included John Mariani, who you went mm -hmm. to school with. And right. that must have been a wonderful trip. And you saw some relatives you hadn't seen in a while. Sure. And uh, the only thing is that let's, so we should go, we should take Celebrating Act Two on the road to go see the leaves change uh, maybe next year. So we'll think about that. But maybe, so, that, maybe we'll do that. Okay, but, but the anyway, truth of the, the matter the is. The bottom line for this. Are is you the, the your prices are up. Video? Did you want me to wrap it up? Yeah, I mean, if you want. We've got another, I've got about a half hour worth of film left on this thing. Hey. <laughs> and plenty of opinions about the gas prices. I do. <laughs> um, here's the bottom line for, for our viewers, and that is that prices are going up. We know we've got inflation along with everything else, and uh, travel prices are going up, and there's a myriad of reasons, as you point out. If they're cutting back flights, that's a great reason to raise prices, right? Mm. Cut the supply, demand stays the same or increases now that COVID is waning, whether it's gone or not, who knows, but it's waning and more people are traveling. Right. Um, so everybody be prepared. Here it is April, um, but I'm booking for a June flight. I always book as far in advance as I can. Right. And you're right. Summertime is vacation time. So there's going to be an expensive summer for everybody. But I think there's another good message here, which is that uh, uh, and we haven't tried to be too controversial about the COVID stuff, but by any measure, it's becoming more of an endemic than a pandemic. And that if you want to travel, uh, we have tons of instances of people who are now successfully traveling some mass, some not, doesn't really matter. But if you put off visiting people for a long time or areas, uh, go now because it's not going to get cheaper. That's for sure. That's for sure. Anyway, have a great time, everybody. And hopefully you're going to travel. Keep in touch with everybody. And say hello to my friends at Boston. Okay, I will do that. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.